The House passing two spending bills to avoid a government shutdown, sending out straight to the Senate. Inside are nearly $1.4 trillion worth of your tax dollars. Can we expect any kind of strain on the economy? Well, joining us now, we have Pennsylvania Congressman and member of the House Budget Committee, Dan Muser. Dan, great to have you. And Congressman, thank, thank you, you so much for spending your time today on a very busy day for you. So $1.4 trillion, and this, uh, I guess, extends until September 30th of next year. And this avoids a government shutdown like what we saw last year. But why didn't we extend it up until, I guess, the election in November instead? Well, this is just how we set it through September 30th. Uh, election time certainly is uh, when, when it's crunch time, and, and that's what makes, makes things happen. Right here we are in the last few days of our session year, and uh, we're getting a lot done. We had a meeting earlier with Ambassador Lighthouser mm -hmm. on USMCA, which is going to come to a vote tomorrow, finally. Uh, the Speaker's finally bringing it to the floor. And yes, we just voted moments ago on this spending bill, uh, two bills, 1158 and 1865, and uh, there was a tremendous amount of good in it. Uh, I voted for one of the bills, uh, not both, uh, because even though there was a lot of good in it, we're not showing enough restraint. And I fully understand President Trump is going to sign both, which is good, but it's Congress's job to give him the best deal, the best plan possible, and that's what he's going to sign off on. Well, I, don't think, I don't think it was the best deal we could give him, but that's why we want to be back in majority so we can improve upon these well, things. Which part did you not like? Was it the $22 billion hike in defense spending, the $1.3 billion for the U.S.-Mexico border, the 3% increase in pay for our military members? Well, all that I liked. I also liked that all of that I was very favorable to and, and voted for, and that was in the original bill, the 1158. I also voted to repeal the health insurance tax, mm -hmm. the medical device tax, as well as the Cadillac tax. Many of the provisions of Obamacare which were just repealed in the, in the U.S. House of Representatives. What I didn't like were, were a number of the excesses. I was very much for the agricultural money, the rural broadband. Um, uh, some disaster relief uh, funding. Uh, there was a lot of good in it, but excessive. Uh, we're increasing spending by $46 billion. As you, st as you stated, it's $1.4 trillion. Yep. And frankly, Susan, we got this bill last night. So there's a lot in it that I didn't necessarily yeah. know, but I fully understand why the president's going to sign Congressman. it. Congressman? I have to apologize yes. because we do have to get to uh, some playback from the U.S. President, President Trump, and his meeting with the Guatemalan President, Jimmy Morales, in just a bit. But uh, let me just ask you this. This is a very busy week for you, of course, in Congress. Not only do you vote on the spending bill today, tomorrow's the impeachment vote, and then USMCA on Thursday. Yes. Yes. Well, uh, the impeachment is uh, uh, a, a nightmare before Christmas uh, situation. Um, this began over two and a half years ago. Even Speaker Pelosi said this process began two and a half years ago. Uh, occasionally, the truth comes out. And let's face it, these, these procedures provided no due process. There was an incredible presumption of guilt. The players involved were unbelievably suspect. Yes, I have to apologize yes, because uh, we do have to get to that piece of tape and hearing from the U.S. President.